Security alarms blaring tonight at the home where an accused squatter was arrested this week. Cheryl Sherrell just bailed out of jail 48 hours ago, promising not to return to the house owned by a 90-year-old widow. 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky is there now. Brian, police found someone that tried to get in tonight. Yeah, that's right, Kim, but right now we don't know if that intruder is the accused squatter who was finally kicked out, but we do know whoever it was tried to get in the house right through that front door. Cheryl Sherrell stands in court, hands shackled, head down. She pled not guilty to four counts, agreeing to stay away from the house actually owned by a 90-year-old widow. Tonight, someone triggered an alarm. Police got there fast, whoever it was, already gone. Family says that was just installed yesterday. It's the latest in a battle months in the making. Back in February, Fran Breslauer's husband died. Sherell was the caretaker hired to take care of him. After he died, she never left. Breslauer, newly widowed, says Sherell then kicked her out of her own home, then started renting it out. 10 News went inside, finding the place once filled with family memories, now turned into a hoarding dump. I did talk to neighbors out here tonight to see if maybe they saw something. One man told me he might have heard voices over here tonight. Whoever it was was scared off by that alarm. We're live tonight in the college area. Brian Shlonsky, 10 News.